Convicted baby killer Kelly Lane has been denied parole after serving more than 13 years in jail for murdering her newborn daughter. Lane has always maintained her innocence, claiming she handed Tegan over to her biological father days after the birth and has not seen either of them since. Reporter Leah Harris is here to tell us more. Uh, Leah, this decision was somewhat expected. Yes, the State Parole Authority essentially had no choice but to deny her parole today. She has served her minimum sentence of 13 and a half years but her case falls under the state's new nobody no parole laws which were brought in uh, two years ago in response to the Chris Dawson case another high profile case and that means that um, it essentially prevents anyone from getting parole until they Co cooperate with authorities to lead them to the remains of the victim that they have been convicted for and she has always maintained her innocence and so she has not cooperated with finding Tegan's body. Okay, can you take us through the background of this case because it does stem over years? It's, it goes back a long time. So um, Kelly gave birth when she was 21 to baby Tegan back in 1996 and she claims that she then handed Tegan over to her biological father days after the birth and that she hasn't seen either of them since. It wasn't until years later that authorities noticed that baby Tegan was unaccounted for. They started investigating the case and they uh, ultimately ended up charging her for Tegan's murder. They were never able to find Tegan or this biological father. Um, he's never been identified and a jury um, sided with the prosecution that they believed that she had murdered her baby. Kelly Lane, as I said, has always maintained that she did not um, murder Tegan and that Tegan could still be alive out there. But she was sentenced to a minimum of 13 and a half years in jail for the murder and that that will run out in May this year but given today's decision it's now unlikely that she will get parole for another five years. Okay all right thank you very much for that update. Uh, Lee Harris.